Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I give you the result of the sunset challenge. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in the beautiful, the incroyable city of Paris, France. But right now, I'm still in the U.S. and I'm going to be in the U.S. Uh, for all of winter doing t uh, books and fine art photography in different places in the U.S. I make two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the raw file of all the past episodes and click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In last episode, I showed you how to use Tonality Pro to turn the photo taken with a 35mm from an airplane into a fine art print. This week, I'm going to talk to you about compositing, about lights, and about photo critiques. I'm going to give you the result of the Sunset in the Wild challenge, and you will see who won. And I actually picked up two winners, plus a third one, which is my heart winner. So let me show you the result. All right, so here are the results of the Sunset Landscape in the Wild challenge. Now, a couple of things before I give you the results and some photo critique. Uh, I'm really sorry about the bugs we were experiencing. Uh, we did not expect to get so many entries. And so the, the side broke down a couple of times because uh, it was just too long to load. So we had to reprogram the page at least two or three times during the week. So we are, no, this is our first, so I'm really sorry about that. I have a webmaster who's taking care of it. And so, yeah, we had a few bugs. And the other thing is some people did not know if it was sunsets or sunrise only. Honestly, to me, it does not matter because sunsets and sunrise can look very similar. All that matters to me is the emotional impact. Now, because there were so many entries, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I, I decided that there was gonna be two winners, which are the two top ones, which really got lots of Facebook likes. The first one uh, that got the most famous Facebook likes is actually a sunrise, not a sunset, and it's from uh, Eric, uh, it's actually from um, uh, Joe Pompili, who, uh, this is the photo. Uh, it's, uh, well, a, a photo for Canal, a very nice sunset and, uh, you know, very nice reflection. Now, to be honest, it is not my favorite. I love it, uh, but there, um, but it's the one that got the most likes, so it's the winner. And so I'm gonna give actually three prizes. I'm gonna give the first prize to this gentleman because he's the one that got the most likes on Facebook. Then I'm gonna give a prize to a second one, which is the second one who got the most likes on Facebook. And then I'll tell you what is my personal favorite, which did not get the most like on Facebook. So every week I actually will give you what is my personal favorite and the one who gets to, uh, who also wins the one that's on Facebook. So, uh, I mean, I really like this photo. You know, it's got great leading lines, got great reflections, great light. Uh, yeah, it's a really cool photo. And so the winner, is a man named Joe Pompili from uh, Spencerport, uh, New York. Oh, also, one thing I want to apologize for is um, is uh, I'm gonna add a field so you can tell me exactly what website you want me to promote in the video, and I did not know, so I had to do my own research. So anyways, for Joe, I'm promoting Fine Art America because he's selling his work, so you can purchase it from Fine Art America, and you can see some of uh, the stuff he's got there. A uh, very nice photo. So very well done, Joe. You're number one. You got the one who's got the most famous uh, Facebook like. You can find the link to his Fine Art of America sales of prints uh, directly in the description of this video. The second winner is the number two, the one who got the second most uh, Facebook. And that is my friend, Soren Marcus. I know very well Soren. He's been um, following my work for quite some time. And, often sends me photos. I don't always have the time to answer it. I'm really sorry. I do. I try to answer to everyone, but sometimes I get 60 emails in a day and I just cannot answer everybody, but I do my best to do that. Anyways, um, Dr. Soren Marcus is from Romania and he has a small clinic, but he takes photography really seriously. He's uh, He has a lot of amazing work. Um, I'm promoting his 500 page. I think it's the best is to following on uh, to follow him up on the uh, 500 px it's uh you will get the link also in the video uh, he's got like uh you know 45,000 affections 500 half a million views on 500 px so he's very popular on 500 px and uh he's really great some uh, some really cool work i know uh, lately he's been working with a uh, luminosity mask and uh you know trying to blend different exposures and he's really good and uh 
and uh, he's very creative. He takes lots of photos. And uh, so very well done for being number second. So I'm going to send you an email to both of you asking you, well, offering you the landscape retouching course. If you already have the course, I'll give you something else instead. But anyways, very well done to uh, my friend, Dr. Soris Marcus for the second place. Okay, now back to the competition. Uh, I want to tell you, uh, well, which is my favorite uh, because of course, you know, getting Facebook like is one way to win, but also I wanted to give you what's my favorite. And there's so many entries. I mean, there's over 300 entries. It was really hard for me to pick one up, but there's really one that I just love so much. And, uh, and that's this one from a gentleman in Germany called Stefan Schaefer. Now check this one out. That's my favorite. The reason it's my favorite is because there is a man in the photo. He's properly led. He's looking toward this amazing scenery. The sunset is amazing. It's not too HDR. The whole rocks are leading lines toward the sun. I mean, for me, this photo is really perfect. And it's my favorite. You know, I have to pick one. Well, this is it. Uh, now, if you want to find out more about Stefan Schaefer, uh, he's from Germany. So he's got a German website, schaeferphotography.de. And he's got tutorials, I believe, in German. He's got uh, he's got different landscape people, erotic and verbun, which I have no idea what it means. It's, it's verboten. I don't know what it means. Anyways, he's got uh, great stuff. Uh, looks like uh, you know a bit HDR type of things, but uh, he uh, anyway he did the photo that I like the most. So check out his work, Stefan Schaefer, and uh, this is again the one that won for me. That's the one that won my heart. Now I want to talk to you about some other ones. So we're going to look at them one by one and I'm going to give you my opinion. Now, this is just my opinion. It is not somebody else's opinion. I might be completely wrong, but I'm going to give you an honest opinion on like about 10 photos. So maybe because the whole idea, this is also like a tutorial uh, and you know, maybe you can learn a couple of things. Now this one is from Africa. I love it. African sunrise. I don't have much to say. Uh, if I wanted to be picky, um, the thing is here you have a lot and that's the problem with with uh, landscape photography a lot is often when you have grass and trees which are in the foreground uh, it makes a very very high frequency texture which is sometimes not pleasing for the sky for the eyes I'm sorry but he made it dark so it's kind of cool you know but if you had like very nice uh, you know silky water and just uh, like a, you know like an animal in the foreground it's all very smooth you know, maybe the photo would even be stronger, but the sunrise itself is amazing. This one, um, beautiful sunset in Maryland. I kind of like it. It's got a bit too much clarity to me. That's my personal taste. I used to love a lot of clarity and as time goes on, I, I, I get, you know, I'm just less impressed by that effect. I can tell there's a bit of dodge and burn here, maybe a bit too strong here on the pass. And again, we have a we have a lot of, and for me, there is a bit too much frequency here. I mean, the light is beautiful, but here, you know, all the leaf and the clarity, that the fact that he added clarity makes it very uh, strong for me and, and not pleasing. And that's, that's for me, the downside of that photo. But otherwise, it's kind of cool, leading lines, nice lights, you know, every photo. Um, this one, to be honest, I don't like it so much because uh, I don't like the, um, it's got a great light, but this is for me a bit messy. Uh, it's not a, it's not a very high, uh, amazing composition. And, um, uh, yeah, this is a bit too much burn. It doesn't look properly exposed to me. Um, no, I don't like it. This is the winner for me. This one is, I hesitated a lot. I love this one. I really like this one a lot. Foggy down. Uh, I love the fog. I love the fact that it's, you know, wide angle, or I don't know if you shot it wide angle to be honest, it could be, uh, could be more zoomed in because it looks compressed to me. Uh, but there is fog. Uh, I love the light. There is nothing I can say about that photo. It, this is really a well done. I wish I had taken that photo. I really like it. This one, I love the. I love the. You see, I love the background. I love the middle ground here. But again, my problem, and that's just me. I don't like the foreground. Foreground for me is too much textures, too much stuff going on. It attracts too much my, my attention. It is too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I guess <laughs> that's one of the hardest thing I find in doing landscape photography is to get the pleasing foregrounds. It's easy to get nice backgrounds and middle grounds, but foregrounds, not easy. This one is kind of cool, uh, a bit dark for me. It's a bit dark for me. Uh, so the whole subject is a bit of a silhouette and a bit blurry. It's uh, the subject itself 
is not amazing. The light is amazing. Um, I don't know what else to say. This one is very nice. And, and you see this one, what I like about it is that, um, now for me, it lacks a bit of color of saturation. But what I like about it is the foreground doesn't have such a high frequency texture because the grass, you cannot really see it. You, you can just see shade of colors. I like that. I like the composition, you know, it's like a two third of, uh, of earth, of ground and one third of sky, at least for that. And how the line leads to here, which is like, you know, it, it's got good, um, you know, if I would draw a line here and a line here and a line here and a line here uh, to have the, you know, the rule of third, this is really well placed. It's got, you know, it's got very nice leading lines. It's just for me, I would have gone a bit more crazy on saturation, but you know how I am on saturation. But apart from that, it's a really nice photo. This one, uh, this one is beautiful. This one is really beautiful. Uh, I, you know, I like, I like the fact that the, the foreground is very pleasing. Uh, the, it's very magenta, very colorful. Uh, the only thing I could say to improve that photo is that it's a bit of a classic shot. The subject is not super original. But apart from that, it's well composed. And um, well, there is one thing that bothers me a little bit. You see that tree here on the right? The fact that we don't see it completely. I would love that this tree would be a lot smaller with a reflection. The fact that we don't, you know, don't see it completely bothers me. But that's just me. And so that's from Poli Savo Savolane. Savolane. I'm sorry if I didn't say your names properly. From Finland. A fellow from Finland. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's it's just to be picky about it. But if that tree would be smaller, that would be you know finding a, a different composition that would make the photo stronger to me because uh, there is a rule in photography that I, we call the uh, police border, where you check out your border of the photo, and it's if you have an important element that's cut out, it can be uh, it can be you know uh, how can I say it can be a bit. Uh, yeah, not, not ideal. And so for me, this is not ideal. That's the only way I can see to improve that photo. I would even maybe even cut it here because that tree really just the fact it's cut bothers me. Okay, this one, this one is cool, but classic. You know, there's uh, it's a complete silhouette. We have no details in the foreground, so it's kind of pleasing. The sky is fine, but it's not the most amazing one I've seen. It's a bit too dark. Voila, uh, subject, it's, you know, it's always about the original, you know, the, the, the subject, the light and the composition. Well, the composition is all right. The light is OK and the subject is kind of, you know, well, all right. It's not amazing. But uh, anyways, I know people are very concerned about their photo. Uh, you know, what I like the most, I would say, is the composition is interesting in this photo. This one, I love the light here. I love the light here, but, but the, the yeah, it's a bit too dark, though. Like. It's kind of like this photo, when I see that photo, the only thing I can think of is that area. The rest for me is too dark to distinguish anything. I can tell there's a bit of a house there. It's a bit, it's a bit distracting, but it's a very nice light and it's nice composition. It's just the, the subject, the way it's, uh, well, it's actually the way it's composed. The fact that we see there is something there, but we don't know what it is and the, something there we don't want it is, doesn't make it, you know, that's the problem with photography guys is we have to make photos that communicate to one message. You see, and anything which is not that message should be taken out. For me, what what's the message? Well, it's, you know, it's a sunset by the sea. But, you know, seeing a little bit of a building is distracting to me. Seeing an, a little bit of that building is distracting to me. So that's just me again. Next photo. This one is way too dark for me. It's really too dark. Uh, has some sort of HDR feeling to it. Like it's, no, it's too much contrast. It's just too much contrast making it uh, too harsh. It's too harsh for me. And also the subject is that there's too many things going on. Like there's a barn, but we have, you know, some wire, some bar here, but it's cut here. You know, if there wouldn't be this bar, maybe it would be more pleasing. Too contrasty. And the subject is a bit too, um, too distracting. It's not, it's not enough uh, pure. And I, I'm really, and I hope, you know, th I'm trying to be positive here. And this is really not to, I don't wanna, you know, uh, I mean, there's some good stuff about this photo, you know, the line is kind of fine, but I wanna tell you things that you can progress. Like if I would come there, I would try to maybe find another barn that doesn't have this barrier in front. I would find, or maybe I would go for the trees there, you know, and do something where it's very um, pure and not 
not too much distracting. I think uh, this, you know, one message, you know, this is one message, but this is another message and it's, it doesn't work for me. Uh, this one is kind of cool, but then it's the opposite. It's kind of too simple and the light is not so hot. I mean, this is kind of nice, you know, but this type of sky, there's a bit gr of too much green for me in the sky there. The rocks, it's kind of, the, the composition is fine. Then again, then the, the, the subject in itself is a bit, uh, you know, classic, you know, it's a sea. It's just by the sea, but uh, anyways, uh, I mean, the light is nice. It's just, uh, I'm not blown away by it because of the subject. Okay, now let me pick some other ones that I want to talk about. There's a couple I want to talk about. Uh, okay, this one, for example. Now, I like this one. The light is cool. I like the leading lines here. Uh, I mean, for me, like, really, this is a very well done photo. Uh, honestly, it's, uh, it's not much to it. You know, uh, the subject could be more wild and crazy because, you know, it's, it, we can see the, the, the CT here. But uh, not much to say, I really like this one. Another one that I liked a lot was this one. Sunset Gold Face. Uh, I like the composition, it's very wide angle, but I like the sunset, the people. I don't know, it, this for me it conveys one message. It's a bit too much HDR contrasted to me. I don't know what technique was used, but a little too much, but I like the composition. I like the, the, the ne negative space here, you know, and. Um, there was nothing too much distracting for me except this. I, I never put my logos on my photos. But that's a personal taste. Okay. Now, one thing I want to talk say about this one. Now, this is a beautiful photo. Uh, uh, I mean, I love the background. Now, the foreground is a bit too busy to me. Like, uh, you know, if if I would I would have gone closer a little bit because you know here you have some rocks there, rocks there, rocks there, rocks. It's, I don't know where to look in the foreground. There's too much going on in the foreground, but boy, is the light great. You know, it's set right into the sun. There's a lot of good stuff about that photo. I would have simplified the foreground a little bit, if I may. I hope uh, I'm not gonna make a lot of enemies today. I really hope not. Um, okay, let's see what else I want to talk to you about. Um, this one seems to be interesting. This one is interesting. Except the subject is not amazing. Uh, I, I we call this a tractor. I don't know if that's the way the, in English. The sun is amazing. Uh, you know, an ancient car would have done it better. But it's a very well done photo. In, in any case, it's a good composition. One simple message. This one I like also. You see, even so, this the foreground is has a lot of uh, high frequency st structure. The fact that it's always the same. And the fact that it's uh, and it was taken with a lone exposure makes makes that there is a contrast in details between the sea here, which is very foggy, and this is which is a very high frequency. It, somehow it works. Plus the composition is very graphical. It's simple. What do we mean when we say something is graphical? Well, this is a perfect example because graphics, if you put like a C and a D, and you know, graphics are simple forms. Well, this is very simple forms. You know, we got one thing that looks like a sea, then we got the sky, and that's it. And you know, nothing's distracting. So for me, this is a really good photo. The only thing is the why it's not a winner is that the, the man who won, you know, had a man there looking at the sunset, making it a much more interesting subject. The subject in itself is kind of boring. However, the composition, the light, and the contrast of details versus uh, and really, guys. When you're by the sea, you gotta try shooting with ND filters and tripods. You get this type of effect, it's beautiful. All right, and um, this one seems very well composed, but a bit too dark to me. Let's see it, I didn't see it in big. Yes, I remember. This one is great, I just find it a bit too dark. It has a high frequency uh, um, you know, texture, but it's all the same, making it kind of cool. You know, if I would have like, you know, here are some uh, red fields and uh, uh, and dark rocks and uh, and uh, and a car, that would be too much. There we have only one subject. I love that photo. I would have done a little bit more of Dodge and Bird. I would have done like a ray of light going here in the valley. I would have increased that a little bit. Maybe increase a bit more of Dodge and Bird inside. But I love the composition. This is very well done. All right. Okay. Oh, this one. I remember this one. This is a pano. Uh, 
And uh, this one, I, I love the light here. I just love the clouds. I, you know, what I love, love about this photo is that the, um, the clouds are not HDR looking, they're a bit fuzzy. They are a bit fuzzy, there is some rays of light. The foreground again is not so distracting. Also, it's a high frequency texture. It's not so distracting. There is a there is a wholeness to it. I just love that photo, and uh, and I love the contrast. How this is very fuzzy in the back with rays of light, and this is you know not fuzzy. It's not too much clarity, you know, uh, on, on the photo, which is really cool. And voila, that's it for for this. I hope you learned a couple of things on this critiques. Very well done for everybody who participated. We're soon going to announce another challenge. And sorry for the bugs we've had. Uh, I will make sure that uh, it, it goes better for the next challenge. But make sure also you put in your information when you're sending the photo of which website you would like me to promote. Thank you very much. And I will see you in another episode. All right, guys, I hope you like this episode. If you have any ideas or suggestions of tutorials you want me to do, leave a comment under the video here and I will do my best to fulfill your wishes, okay? Thank you so much. I'll see you in another episode. Au revoir.